Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of coding. Today we are going to do the problem which is called magnet array problem. So let's try to understand it with the help of some example. So you are given uh, to find the neutral point. This is the aim of the question. So what is the neutral point? Let us see. So with the first example, so you are given a magnet at a point distance 1 and you are given another magnet at a point distance 2. So you have to find a point where the force is equal to 0 which is a neutral point there is no force acting due to overall due to all of the magnets combined okay so in this it's very easy to guess at the midpoint which is at a distance of 1.5 the forces will cancel out because what is the force that is acting in the right direction see the first magnet is going to repel this magnet okay so the force that is acting by the first magnet on this is 1 divided by 1.5 why because the distance between 1.5 and 1 is equal to 0.5 right 1.5 minus 1 is equal to 0.5 so that is a force that is acting in the right direction similarly in the left direction this magnet is going to repel at this point in the left direction right and what is the force is going to exert first of all what is the distance 2 minus 1.5 is equal to 0.5 right so again a distance is 0.5 you can see that both these distances are equal to 0.5 so it is symmetric so in the right and left direction the magnitudes uh, of the forces are same and the directions are opposite so the forces are going to get cancelled and there is going to be a net zero force at this point so this is a neutral point and you have to return 1.5 as the answer okay now let's take a little bit more complicated um problem so you have 0 10 20 and 30 right so you have the forces which are at 0 at 10 at 20 at 30 now in this you have to find the neutral point first of all it is given in the question that between any two adjacent magnets between any two adjacent magnets there is always going to be a neutral point right there is always a neutral point it may not be exactly between but it will be somewhere between okay somewhere between any two adjacent magnets there is going to be a neutral point so let's try to find out where is the neutral point for our magnets so between the magnet 10 and 20 it is very easy to guess right it will be exactly at the midpoint at the midpoint at the distance 15 if you see the force due to this magnet on this will be will be cancelled by this magnet okay because both are at a distance of 5 right from this point so the forces that they exert will be 1 by 5 in, in this direction and 1 by 5 in this direction so both the forces will get cancelled similarly you see the force due to the magnet placed at distance 0 on this point will be 1 by 15 in the right direction right and force due to this magnet on this point will be 1 by 15 in the left direction and both of them will get cancelled so the entire force will be 1 by 15 plus 1 by 5 1 by 15 plus 1 by 5 in the right and left direction right due to both the magnets so, so it's symmetric right this magnet is also at distance 15 this magnet is also at distance 15 so overall both the forces have the same magnitude and the directions are opposite so they will get cancelled so so the answer one of the answers is 15 okay but there are many other answers in this so let me rewrite the diagram so you have 0 10 20 and 30 right so now between 0 and 10 where will the answer lie okay so let's take a guess is it going to be exactly in between let's calculate the force exactly in between so at a distance of 5 what is the force that is acting in the right direction the magnitude of that force is what so first of all due to the first magnet right the force will act in the right direction because the first magnet will repel this magnet okay so what is the force 1 by 5 minus 0 because it's at a distance of 5 minus 0 so what is that this is 1 by 5 okay now what is the force acting due to this magnet due to the magnet at a distance of 10 on this point which is at a distance of 5 so it's 1 by 10 minus 5 right so what is 1 by 10 minus 5 that is also 5 okay but this is not the only magnet which is exerting the force in the left direction you also have an additional force by this magnet okay and what is the magnitude of that force so you have 1 by 20 minus 5 and what is the magnitude of that force so the magnitude of that force is 1 by 20 minus 5 which is 1 by 15 okay similarly in the left direction you also have a force by this magnet by the last magnet at this point so what is the magnitude of that force the distance is 30 minus 5 the distance is 25 so the force is 1 by 25 units now you see in the left direction you have three forces okay in the right direction you have only one force but what is the magnitude this and this force will can cancel but in the left direction you have an additional force that is going to be left out so since there is an additional force in the left direction let me redraw the diagram okay let's just redraw the diagram in the left side you have additional force right 
so let me redraw so if we have to just draw the forces right at acting on this point in the left direction you have extra forces in the right direction you just have 1 by 5 in the left direction you have 1 by 5 plus 1 by 15 plus 1 by 25 so only 1 by 5 and 1 by 5 will cancel still in the left direction you will be left with this amount of additional force so now where will the neutral point lie now we have a guess we we are a in a little better position to identify where our neutral point is going to lie because we know that in the left side more force is acting than the right side what does this means you have to increase your force see the left side force let me write it in the left side you have some force in the right side you have some force now the left side force is a lot more right in the left direction you see the force is a lot more than in the right direction so because of which you have to increase your force in the right direction so that it can match up the left side forces and so if you increase this force and make it equal to the left side forces then in that case your forces will cancel and you will get a neutral point so we have to increase our right side force how can we increase our right side force what is the magnet that is exerting the right side force the first magnet so if you move closer to the first magnet right you will be able to increase your force in the right direction why because the more close you are to a magnet the more it exerts a force right because see what is the formula for force force is equal to 1 by distance right so if you decrease your distance with that magnet you are going to increase your force with that magnet so because of this logic the common sense tells us to move closer to the first magnet okay so let me redraw the diagram again so you have 0 you have 10 you have 20 you have 30 so at the point 5 you try to test if it's a neutral point or not what did you find at the point 5 we saw that the left direction had a lot more force than the right direction okay so because of which you are increasing your right direction so you are moving closer to the first magnet okay and you are moving away from these magnets if you move away from these magnets and you move closer to the first magnet so the common sense tells us that you should try it somewhere here so that your right direction forces can increase so now you will try at the point 2.5 so now let's try to find out what are the forces at the point 2.5 okay so what is the force due to first magnet so it is 1 by 2.5 minus 0 which is 1 by 2.5 okay now what is the force at this point due to this magnet so let's let me uh, draw and write the magnitude so what is the distance distance is 10 minus 2.5 right and what is it 7.5 so it is 7.5 1 by 7.5 okay similarly what is the force due to this magnet at this point so it is 20 minus 2.5 1 divided by 20 minus 2.5 so it is 1 by 17.5 okay similarly what is the force due to this magnet on this point so it is 30 minus 2.5 1 by 30 minus 2.5 which is 1 by 27.5 right so let me write that also so you have 1 by 27.5 okay now if you make the calculation between this and this now if you use a calculator you can observe that this value 1 by 2.5 is much much okay greater than 1 by 7.5 plus 1 by 17.5 plus 1 by 27.5 what this means is that this force right is much greater than all these three forces combined so what it means let me redraw the diagram so you can use a calculator to also check it so in this direction in this direction the force that we have is much bigger than what we have in the left direction so now the right side force is larger than the left side force so now at this point right at the point 2.5 you notice that your right side force is much larger than the left side force so now because of which you have to increase your left side force means what you did you move too much closer to the first magnet and you move too away from the other three magnets so this was wrong so you have to move a little bit okay away from the first magnet now and little bit closer to the remaining three magnets because you move too close to the first magnet it exerted a lot of force on you and it increased your left side force too much again it's not a neutral point so now what you will do you will move so the next time you will move little bit away from the first magnet so what you are actually doing you are moving up you are doing a binary search so now where will you move see earlier our low value was 0 let me write again and our high value was 10 that is why at the mid value of 5 we were trying to see if it is a neutral point or not we saw that it is not a neutral point but we understood that the force was too much on the left side and too little on the right side so that is why what we had to do we had to change our high value 
and low remained 0 but our high value became 5. So now we tried for mid equal to 2.5. So now what we understood the force on right side is too much and on left side it is too less. So we have to increase our left side force. We have to move away from the first magnet. Okay. So if you have to move away from the first magnet, now our low value will change. Now we will make it 2.5, our high value will become 5. So now your mid will again change accordingly, right? So mid will be mid point between these two quantities. So it will be 3.75. So now with 3.75, you will try whether it's a neutral point or not and so on. So what are you actually doing? So we understood the logic. What we are actually doing is we are doing a binary search, okay? We are doing a binary search. We have a low value. We have a high value. We have a mid value. We will try if mid value is our answer. And accordingly, which side force is larger? According to that, we will shift our low and high value. Okay. That's it. That's the simple logic. And by the way, we will keep doing this. We will get answer at 3.82. Okay. So we will let the computer do all the work. And we will just code it and peacefully code it and sit. And we will get all the answers. Okay. So let's write the code now. So for int i equal to 0, i less than n minus 1, i plus plus. So I will explain why I am taking i less than n minus 1 because we have to find the forces between two adjacent magnets, right? So you are given a get answer array. So get answer of i should return you the answer between the first and the second magnet, okay? So let's declare a function and we will call it neutral point, okay? And what it's going to do it's going to take magnets of i as the first parameter and magnets of i plus one as the second parameter so magnets of i is our low value in our example in our example this is zero and this is 10 so initially zero is our low value 10 is our high value so we are passing these two as parameters okay what are the other parameters it's going to take it will also take the magnets array and we can also pass n okay now whatever answer we are returning uh, from this function that will become the first answer so this should return 3.82 because our neutral point is 3.82 right so if our function works correctly that should get written as the answer between the first two adjacent magnets and so on right i was taking n minus 1 because we are taking i plus 1 here right so it should not go out of the bounds so between any two adjacent magnets we should have this okay now let's declare this function neutral point it's going to return a double value as the answer it's taking four values first is the low value second is the high value third is the magnets array and fourth is the number of magnets that we have okay now we are just applying binary search so what are we doing in binary search we just do while low is less than high keep continuing okay continue doing the iterations and we have a mid value so what is our mid value mid value is very simple it is just low plus high by two okay now we are going to check if if mid is a neutral point or not that is what we are going to check okay so we have to calculate the forces acting at the midpoint so we have the array with us what is the force forces one by distance right and how do you calculate the distance between any two points very simple so let's say one point has a x coordinate of mid and the other point has a x coordinate of magnets of i so this is the distance between them okay let me take an example so your array is uh, 0, 10, 20, 30. So initially your low value is 0, your high value is 10. Okay, First you are calculating between these two points what is the neutral point. So what is your mid value? Mid value is 5. Now at this point 5 we are going to calculate what is the force, total force acting. So let me take a variable total force. Initially total force is 0. And I'm going to sum up all the forces that are acting on this point. If it is zero, then it's great for us. Okay, so I'm going to sum up all the forces. So let me quickly uh, take the sum. So what is the first force that is acting at the point five? So what is the distance? Uh, so mid is five and uh, magnets of I is zero. So five minus zero. So the first force that is acting has a value of one one by five, right? That means one by five in the right direction. Okay. Now what is the second force that is acting mid is equal to 5 and the distance is 10 so 1 divided by 5 minus 10 which is equal to minus 5 right that means 1 by 5 force in the left direction what is the third force that is acting 1 by 5 minus 20 right so that is equal to 1 by minus 15 what is the fourth force that is acting on it so mid is 5 and the value is 30 so 1 divided by 5 minus 30 which is minus 25 right 
so these are the total forces that are acting now you can observe that 1 by 5 and minus 1 by 5 they will get cancelled and this force will remain so we can give a condition if your total force is going to be negative right then in that case means that the force on the left is too much and the force on the right is too less so you have to increase the force on the right right force you have to increase right so in this case you have to move basically closer to first magnet and away from other three magnets because currently the first magnet is exerting two less force right that's why right force is two less so you have to move away from the three magnets and closer to the first magnet how can you do that so you can simply do that by changing your high value if you change your high value and make it equal to mid so in this case what will happen once you do this your low is going to remain as zero but your high will change earlier high was 10 now high will become equal to mid which is 5 so this will be your new low and high so your low is 0 your high is equal to 5 so next time your mid will be equal to 5 so you have moved closer to the first magnet right which is what we wanted so our right force will increase because of this okay else you can give the else condition if your total force was positive you will just do the opposite so if your total force is positive you will just make low equal to mid because see next time what happens next time when you have this condition right when let me write here when you have this condition when your low is equal to 0 high is equal to 5 and your mid is equal to 2.5 at the point 2.5 what did we observe we observed the opposite right we observed the opposite let me write it here we observed the opposite that the left force was less was very less and the right force was too much so in this case you want to decrease the right force so you want to move away from first magnet and you want to move closer towards other magnets right away from first magnet closer towards other magnets how can you do that so you can do that by making your low value equal to mid so now what will happen now in our example if you do this your low value will become equal to 2.5 because your mid is 2.5 and your high will become equal to 5 so next time mid will equal, become equal to 3.75 so you can see we are uh, moving closer and closer towards the solution right and so on so next time we'll keep on trying this iteration and so on so this is our simple logic okay now let me erase all this comments that we don't need okay let me erase this now when do we have to stop this iteration now we have to stop this iteration if total force becomes equal to zero but you see that um all this is in decimal values and the force it's also going to be in decimal values and uh, you know it's going to not become exactly zero so we can stop the iteration when it becomes very close to zero right so that is what we can do so we can just give a condition if total force let's say becomes very close to zero right let's say it becomes uh, like this something like this which is very close to zero then in this problem that will also be acceptable okay so i am giving absolute value because force can be negative also so if if this is the condition then in that case you can just return mid as your answer you have found the neutral point the neutral point is mid otherwise you can keep on continuing the iterations okay this is the simple logic now after this i can just return low and this will be my entire code now let me compile and see if it is working let me erase the comments so there is something oh, was not declared in this scope error her magnets where did i write this this is line which line is this in member function neutral point double double her magnets why did i write this i guess i was trying to comment out something uh, let me comment out everything okay so you can see that it's accepting right it's working let me just submit and see if it's working for all the test cases so it's working thank you for being patient and it's 